big Well, a, a great, great example. Um, Nyerma Daikonbo is, is a great example of that. There are some jokes, and, and, and Nadashin said he didn't think it would work for an American audience because some of the jokes were very much centered on Japanese culture. In that case, my job as a director, and I told my writer this, I said, if you have a joke for this show that 10 people in the United States who understand Japanese culture would get, and you can take that joke and broaden it to where 500 people laugh, I know that Nabashin wants them to laugh. He wants them to have a good time. And that is keeping with the spirit of what the creator wants. Does that, does that make sense? Um, granted, we, we had to change very little because it was so funny, and I felt it worked for an American audience. Uh, in fact, I will say one of the funniest lines in the show came directly from the translation. One of, one of what I consider the funniest lines in the show came directly from the translation. I didn't touch a word of it, and it fit the flaps, and I was like, done. <laughs> but but you have to honor you have to honor that creator. Yeah. Um, so what, have you ever like done a scene like differently, but still got the same point across in the end? Like, it's how do you mean differently? Like, I'm trying to think. Me and my friend watched an episode of Canon in English, and we watched it again in Japanese. Do you speak Japanese? No, we watched the subtitles. The subtitles are not usually completely accurate. The subtitles have to be set within a certain amount of standard. There's a certain standard for subtitles. Um, and they have to be, they can only be, what is it, Josh? Three colors. It only is three colors for subtitles. They have to be on the screen for a certain length of time. So you have to be, they have to go two colors. Yellow and white. Yellow and white because the third color is clear. Um, they also have to be able to be read within a certain amount of time. So they are not always a complete literal translation of what is being spoken. That makes sense. Yeah. So like, yeah. Here's one. Like it was like complete. Like one thing was completely different, but in the end, it got the same point across. And sometimes, sometimes that happens due to lip flaps and, and having to make stuff work. If it, it, a great example that we were just talking about. Uh, I'll do it. I need a completely different example from when I started as a voice actor. Uh, our director had a, a difficult time with Tree of Paul because Paul, one syllable, but when pronounced uh, by the Japanese seiyus and it was animated to be Honma, two flaps. So how do you say Paul in two flaps? Paul! <laughs> and we had to do weird vocal things like that to make it fit the flaps. It's the title character, you can't change his name. <laughs> but yeah, so every now and again you do have to make adjustments to make it work with the left flaps. So you pick somebody, I feel like I'm in gym class, I hate picking people. Thank you, sir, with the awesome mustache. Thank you. <laughs> I have to ask the same thing in reverse. Although I'm not going to say there's any good American anime, but when it goes to Japan, okay. do you work on the same thing over there, or have you worked on anything or the other way? Uh, for, for me, my job is to, uh, to be making anime, uh, so I just have uh, personal uh, experience with adapting American anime animation to the Japanese market. But uh, I do have uh, personal impressions to watching uh, Japanese adapted and American shows. And, uh, so, so let me ask, uh, does Ninja Turtles exist in the American market? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it looked very obvious that the show must have been created in the States and originally had an American uh, in, in English soundtrack that was adapted in Japanese language, but it was horrible. <laughs> 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 
なんかあの主人公は「おいみんな帰ろうぜ」って言ってるセリフを日本では「餃子でも食ってかねえか」みたいなことを言ってました。So, I believe that sometimes the straight translation is the best,、uh, best thing to do, other times、uh, it's really to maintain the intent of the creation and, and to, to make it adaptation. So, it might be the, the,、uh, the best solution depending on the context. Yes, yes. <laughs> Do you find that having acting and or was acting experience helps with directing for all of us? Yes. Does that also apply to me? Yes. 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 Well, I, I, I didn't have an、uh, acting background、uh, before I became an anime director. In fact, I was a director before I ended up、uh, doing some good acting, so I can't really uh, uh, apply that question to myself. ただ自分で監督した声優さんだとかをこうコントロールするのと、自分で、えー、っとやりたい芝居を自分で演じたけども。その通りにうまくいかない、行くときといかないときのコントロールが非常に難しいですね。But、uh, it's different trying to、uh, instruct other actors to, to act the way you want and to,、uh, to try to act, act, act yourself the way you want to act yourself and not be able to do that and、uh, have a, a lot of poor and success in self control. やっぱクリスたちはそういう役者、としてとあとは。So,、uh, how do you balance control between、uh, being an actor and being an actor?、Um, director for,、uh, I, I try to only do bit parts, very small parts. I don't want to be one of the leads because I want my focus to be on directing the show. For example, For example, in, in Wallflower, I play、um, Josephine's husband. The skeleton.、Yeah. Um, and I do a George. I do very, very small bit parts so that I can focus on actually directing. Yeah. I try not to cast myself at all. Me either. The one time I did, I was、um, a big part in a show that I was directing. I was cast before I started directing. And,、um, <laughs> and my big,、uh, the thing with that is you have to balance、um, knowing when to tell yourself to stop <laughs> because you'll keep doing it over and、yes. over until it's perfect. Yes. Good question. Very good question. Have you picked someone? 